My buddy and one of the pillars to this online Game of Thrones community, Sir Herb Coswell, he wonders why Gendry didn't sail west of Westeros with Arya. Dude, he did. He's right here. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'll ask Joe Dempsey down at Con of Thrones 2019 who's with me, but I'll give it a shot right now. So Gendry's an amalgamation of two book characters, Gendry and Edric Storm. Gendry's character is the blacksmith who travels north with Yorn, so Gendry and Arya have a relationship in the book, so though she's very young at the time, since all the characters are years younger in the books. During their travels, they come across the Ghost of High Heart twice. You remember this song? They spun her around on the damp old stones Spun away all her sorrow and pain That's Jenny's song, and the Ghost of High Heart was Jenny's friend, a green seer who at one point freaks out when she sees Arya. I see you, wolf child, blood child. Be gone from here, dark heart, be gone. So you remember this scene, which ended up having a huge payoff. I see a darkness in you. That was sort of a nod to the Ghost of High Heart. Instead of the Ghost of High Heart freaking out about Arya Darkheart, Melisandre in the show, she's the one to see death in Arya's future. But the point is, Arya never meets Melisandre in the books. The reason that Melisandre and Arya meet at all in the show is because the show dropped a character, another one of King Robert Baratheon's bastards, a boy named Edric Storm. Robert conceived Edric on Stannis' wedding night on Stannis' bed before Stannis even got up there to do his own thing. Stannis didn't like this very much, so Stannis didn't raise the bust. He sent Edric off to Renly at Storm's End. Stannis' wife, Selyse, took it a step further. Selyse blamed the fact that she had never given Stannis a son on Robert, defiling their bed and laying a curse upon their union. Selyse was totally nuts. So Selyse looked at Edric as a curse, and she tried to leverage that so as to convince Stannis to burn Edric for Melisandre, to wake dragons from stone. Which brings us back on track. The show did not have Edric, so Melisandre had to go on that little journey to the Riverlands to pick up Gendry, and then they used Gendry for that burning subplot in the show. You probably know where I'm going with this now, right? Show Gendry is an amalgamation of two characters, Book Gendry and Book Edric Storm, whose last name is Storm, and he grew up at Storm's End. My guess is that Edric Storm, he's gonna inherit Storm's End in the books, but they had to do something, so they gave that role to Gendry. And I won't get into this now, but I'm not yet sold on Bran ending the story as king in the books. I still lean towards Tyrion and Sansa, which opens up Winterfell for Arya, the girl who tried to get to Winterfell over and over, and eventually she got there and she saved Winterfell. Now, to be fair, Arya is a very independent young woman, and it's kind of funny that Lyanna ran away from Robert and Lyanna 2.0, Arya, she ran away from Robert's son, Gendry. But it's different. No one was trying to force Arya to marry Gendry. So I do see them falling more in love in the books and holding down the fort at Winterfell with a new sigil, a stag spearing a direwolf. But yeah, Gendry's the man, so I'm with you, Herb. It would have been nice to see them sell off together. But the show's take on it was cool too, at least for Arya. 